Hello everyone, welcome back. We are back with more Star Fox Weirdness Day. Also, I'm the Moe Chicken. Left that part out. In the last episode, we figured out how to go into the black hole and not be completely destroyed by gravity. And today we will be going to somewhere even weirder. Now, in order to get to this new weird area, we have to go down level 3 and once again get to the asteroid belt. So, I'll be back in just a moment. But first, a word from General Pepper. This lovely blue planet that appears to be entirely ocean. You've chosen course three! A good choice to take Venom by surprise! Good luck! Now here we get this weird voice. I'm gonna shut up this time so you can hear it. What is that saying? Like, for the longest time I thought it was A-wing enemy fighters, because the R-wings kind of look like A's. But then I found out they were called R-wings, so who knows. Also, it's sunset for some reason. Go figure, I guess the sun's going down. Alright, I will- oh no. Oh great, I put my- I put my controls with the wrong controls! Cool! Well, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Oh no! Oh no! How do the controls work? Uh, what is everything? Okay. Oh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> that's gonna be super fun. No! <laughs> Croak, help me! Yeah, help me too, Slippy. I'm in bad shape, man. Down is down and up is up. <laughs> Normally I'd be fine with this uh, situation, but not in a flying game. Uh, no. Also, B is shoot. Uh, who plays with these controls? <laughs> Spinning time. Haha, I destroyed you. Croak, help me. I'm terrible at everything, quote Slippy. You know, that's not really true. I don't really have that big of a beef with uh, Slippy. I know a lot of people don't like him. I don't know, he's just, he's just a character. I don't know. I guess, I guess most people don't like him because he's not like... Cool, I guess. Like, like, uh, what's his face? Falco is, but I mean, Peppy's not either. Why does Peppy get a free ride? I don't even know if I, if I would say that Falco's cool. He's just kind of a jerk. He's just not nice. Like, he's not nice and he's terribly uncooperative. I don't know that that makes him cool. Oh, and also the attack carry will be his. This is a dribble. So, funny thing about this is you can see these giant robots who I've never been able to figure out if they're actually like Cornarian robots or like bad guy robots because they seem to largely be t maintaining the facilities of this area. Anyway, they're definitely stealing the parts of the regular boss that shows up here. That's that, see like, look, look back there. That's like the center part of what would normally be the boss. That's the attack carrier. Go figure. Instead we find this thing. Hello this thing. How are you? Sweet drifting, by the way. <laughs> so many things in this game remind me of something out of Tron. Like the original Tron. I keep feeling like I'm gonna run into the MCP or something somewhere. Uh, oh, oh no! Oh no! I didn't remember that happening. Uh, turn around so I can kill you. Thank you. Yay! Into the explosion! Wow! I still can't figure out the controls. Oh. Fun time! I love those noises. <laughs> oh, I only got eight. I didn't do so well. Whatever. Whatever. All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm I have beaten the first stage. I did it. I got 89%. That's okay. And now we are moving on to asteroid. So, once again, the trick here is to shoot something that you wouldn't expect to have to shoot. First, a word from General Hepper. Use the L or R buttons to escape the tractor beam of the enemy battleship. You can do it, Fox. Good luck. Good luck. All right. So the objective here is to shoot something that is a bit unusual. Specifically, it's something that looks like it's basically just background. Um, in the At some point in this stage, you will see two large asteroids off to the side. Also, I think I, I believe I mentioned it before the end of the, or before I cut away, but I do not have the controls I'm used to, which means 
I'm confused. Basically, up up is up and down is down, which normally has no gives me no fits. But in the situation of a flying game, it's a problem. Okay, see that asteroid over there? I gotta shoot it. I gotta shoot it a whole lot. Die, asteroid. Die, asteroid. Okay, I shoot that one a lot. Then I shoot this other one a whole lot. And if I shoot it enough, hit enough times, it will eventually... Uh, there we go. It explodes. And now, a mysterious creature appears. There it is. The winged creature. So what you have to do is get is run directly into that. So here we go. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it. Now I gotta kill myself. Now I gotta kill myself. I did it wrong. So yeah, you have to, like, run into it, basically. And, um, if you do so, you will be transported to another dimension. But we have to get there first, so. Unfortunately, my inability to use the controls where down is down and up is up is up uh, caused us to fail. So, hopefully, I will succeed this time, because that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, that's all you have to do. You just have to shoot it a lot. And there's just a threshold of the number of hits that it has to take before it, I guess you could say, yeah, it, before it blows up. Before you de defeat the asteroid. <laughs> Alright, uh, no, don't shoot. Don't shoot Peppy. Don't shoot Peppy. Also, Peppy's way younger in this. <laughs> like, it, in Star Fox 64, they just kind of decide, oh, we need like a, we need a veteran character. So we'll make the rabbit the veteran. He's, he's the old one now. He's old Star Fox character. Okay. Um, so now I have to try to do this again. And the goal is just to run into it. You don't have to shoot it down. You don't have to do anything else to it. You just have to run into it. And if you get it right, you go to the other dimension. I want to get it right. Here we go. Here we go. I did it! Yes! And we, tr we pass f out into this place. Ooh, have you ever been here? This place is cool. Also, there was the star again, briefly. Out of this dimension! Come in, our wings! Fox, where are you? We need you to protect Cordaria! Good luck. Good luck. And so now we're here. <laughs> yes, this is still Star Fox. This is still the regular game. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the other dimension. In the other dimension, there are paper airplanes that will fight you <laughs> and weird woobly graphics and with like planets with strange mysterious faces on them and it just kind of goes on like this this is just a really strange easter egg certainly not something i would have found on my own uh, i regret to I, I regret to mention that i did not find either of these on my own originally one of them i found out uh, from a friend in high school he told me about it Another one, and then this one I just sort of had to look up, honestly. I found out about it while I was looking up how to do the black hole. And I thought, no, this must be shared with other people. Other people must see this strangeness. <laughs> look how weird it is, though. And I think the music is um, a reference to a... It's like a wacky version of a real song. I, I don't know which song, though, unfortunately. Um... But yeah, Fox is just here now. This is just where Fox lives now. This is his world. Uh, Corneria, you know, his lucrative career as, a, as a, 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 a mercenary. No, none of it's important now. He's in this weird world where there are paper airplanes and strange faces that are just back there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about this place other than I just think people need to know about it. <laughs> I think this is something that other people need to see. <laughs> this strange world. And it kind of goes on like, th for this, l like this for a while. Until we get to the boss. And yes, there's a boss. And no, it's not origami. It's something weirder. <laughs> oh, what is this? What were they thinking when they made this place? It's so very strange. It actually makes me wonder. I I've never bothered to look up if any of the other Star Fox games ever had something like this. Like, I want to say that there is a black hole in in Star Fox 64. I can't remember for sure. But something something's telling me that there is one. I don't know if this place ever comes back, though. Oh, I think we got to the boss. Here it comes. From space! There it is! The giant galactic... <gasps> Wait for it! Wait for it! <gasps> Could it be? It's a, it's a slot machine. 
This is the boss. This is the boss, you guys. Uh, you just you play the slot machine. You hit you hit the lever. It spins. I got a seven. It's good. It's a good start. And uh, you can lock tumblers. It only gives you a random choice each time, and then you spin again. And you play the slot machine in space as Star Fox. Oh, and there's Andros. So in this other dimension, Andros is known, and he causes the intergalactic, <laughs> intergalactic interdimensional slot machine to shoot missiles. What is this? What is this part of this game? This is so strange, but it's a thing. It's a thing in Star Fox. No, I don't want Andros again. Uh, I want to make some money. <laughs> oh, two sevens and an Andros. That's a bummer. <laughs> that is not a big win. Although I think I, it looks like I can lock... Oh, I can lock the two sevens. Okay. Let's see if I can get a three sevens. Um, that one and that one. Okay. Come on, last tumbler. Oh, I hope I get a three sevens. Come on, three sevens. I want to make big money. Big money. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Look at all my money. Oh yes. Oh yes. Look, and you can just pick these up. They're just coins. Also, you destroy the slot machine when you get a uh, triple seven. Truth be told, I did not expect to beat that that fast. Um, I was test playing this to make sure I knew how to get here. And uh, it took me like... 20 to 30 minutes to get those triple sevens because that's the only way you can escape from the or that's the only way you can end the game also look at look at that spooky planet down there where is he looking at him down there he's looking at us he's being weird <laughs> shigeru miyamoto why'd you do this <laughs> anyway that's gonna be it for this episode this was star fox weirdness um you know if you want to try it out go for it i think the instructions i gave were pretty reasonable they that's all you really need to know to do it and yeah have fun thank you dylan cuthbert G uh, Gile giles woodard and krister wombell for making the interdimensional slot machine all right everybody i'm gonna go i'm i'm the boy chicken this has been star fox hope y'all had fun thanks for stopping by Hey everybody, welcome back. This is just uh, one more little bonus thing. I meant to show this in the regular episode, but I forgot about it. Anyway, um, so when the credits finally finish, this scramble the end shows up. And you can shoot it. Of course you can. And uh, the goal is to try to get it to say the end. I can't remember what happens when you do that, but it's made more annoying by the fact that, uh, one, it's not like a very quick process to flip the letters, and then also, as you can see, uh, I guess Andros brought in some forces into the other dimension. He's like, he's like, well, I saw Star Fox go in there. You troops, go in there and mess with the end sign should you find it. And, uh, so you, they just keep, like, flipping the letters by running into them. It's kind of, a uh, <laughs> kind of frustrating, but um, but it is possible to get the end, so I'm going to kind of work at it for a little while, and hopefully eventually I'll get it. The trick is kind of uh, getting parts in place, and then just like flipping them all at the same time so they stay in the same orientation um, when you see someone coming at them. It's tough. Ooh, there we go. Alright, I've got he end. Oh, I lost it. Oh no. Alright, there's that's not right. Um... Come on. Come on. Oh, come on me. This is recorded after the fact. <laughs> oh, it was so close. <laughs> now it's all messed up. Come on me. Do it. <laughs> Do it right. Oh, there's end. Oh, it's it's close. Oh, it's close. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yay! And the end goes, and it plays the crazy music again. That was your reward. It plays the crazy music again. And then you get to do it again if you want to. Anyway, it just keeps going forever, so thanks for stopping by. Bye!